Hello, and welcome to Venusian Scorp Intuition. This video is for my Leos, Libra, Sun, Rising, Venus, Moon. And this will be for your weekly love reading for March 25th through the 31st. You guys already know I pre clean the cards and shuffle. I just like to do a little something jazzy on camera for people that be like, oh, you didn't shuffle the cards. I do, off and on camera, so they get double shuffled. All right, quick announcement. I am doing a $10 special right now for Mercury Retrograde. It goes direct tomorrow. Thank God we are getting out of this God forsaken energy, okay? Because it is taking me for a whirl. Mercury Retrograde don't usually do this to me, but it has drove me a little baddie, God damn it, okay? Anywho, so if you would like a reading or would like some clarity since we're coming out of this energy, I made it discounted. I have a $10 option and also $10 off on my regular personal readings, okay? I do Skype, video, chat, and email chat. Skype, video, phone, and email. Okay, if you would like to reach out to me and ask for more information, you can reach me at VenusianScorpIntuition at gmail.com. The link is in the description box below. All right. Also, my donation. And I take Cash App, uh, ePay, also known as Google Pay, PayPal. And if you don't like to have any of those accounts, I can just send you an invoice by PayPal. And you can just use your card for that. You don't have to have an account. All right. Enough blabbering. Also, disregard my nails. It'll be my treat for the end of the week. Because you will literally sit in there for three hours. Because it's really one good technician in this little town. I am from Chicago. But I moved about four hours away now. So, yeah. You guys can only imagine. And I don't have that type of time. So, I'll treat it as a reward. All right. Here we go, Leo. Holy Spirit and Archangels. What messages do you have for Leo for the week of March 25th through March 31st? Holy Spirit and Archangels. And I did you guys' reading, and um, what happened to it? Um, I was fixing something. It was going dark, and I accidentally clicked out of it. Lord knows that was an accident, but it must have been meant. All right. Holy Spirit, what messages do you have for Leo for the week of March 25th through March 31st? Holy Spirit and Archangels, what messages do you have for Leo? From March 25th through March 31st. Virgo was like this. The, the cars did not want to come out. Okay. I'm here. Okay. I feel like y'all got a lot going on right now. All right, Leo, you are here. King of Rods, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Also, the Emperor, you guys could definitely be dealing with an Aries. Or a Queen of Swords, Gem Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Also, a King of Cups, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. And in the other reading, it was um, third-party energy. So, somebody could be talking to other people, or you're doing so. But there's a lot going on here, okay, Leo? My Lilies, it's for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This energy is fluid. It could be for last week, this week, next week. Take it as it resonates. If it doesn't, don't try to make it fit. It just might not be your week, and you might just need a personal reading. All right, guys. So I feel like in this situation, some clarity and some enlightenment has come out. Could be about someone traveling towards you. Could be about a Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries juggling, causing heartbreak, okay? And the truth comes out about it. Let's see why the Three of Swords is here. Well, you could have caused this heartbreak. Some truth has come to light. Holy Spirit and Archangels, what messages? Yeah, the heartbreak is uh, clarified. I can get it up. By the Seven of Swords. Somebody was deceptive. Somebody was sneaky. And it was a mess. It's just a bunch of people. And I don't know what the hell happened this week, Leo. We was on a good road. Somebody's found out about some sneaky ass behavior. Somebody's feelings hurt. Could be yours, Leo. Could be the cross watcher. Could be the other person. 
You guys could also be dealing with a cancer or have cancer in your chart. Um, but it was like some unknown things going on behind the scene, kind of deceptive. But the truth has come out with this. Let's see what the truth was. Holy Spirit, our angles. Ang our angles. <laughs> our angles. What the fuck is an art angle? <laughs> I can't wait till it's over, y'all. Mercury retrograde has got to go. Holy Spirit, it's over tomorrow. I about save my house. Get that, rush that energy the hell up out of here. Good day. Holy Spirit and Archangels. What what was this clarity? What was this truth that came out? It could have been in message form. Some messages came in quick. Holy Spirit and Archangels. Or well, somebody traveled to you with this truth. Okay. Yep. Uh, it never fails. Page of Swords, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. These are not nice words. Could be an argument. Somebody could be hot, saying anything. Sarcastic energy. Oh, man, somebody's hot. Now, they could be bringing the truth to you and coming to you fast with some BS because they didn't heard something about some deceptive heartbreak and some juggling somebody got going on. See, yeah, uh, this air sign keeps coming up in your stuff. A lot of you guys are really messing with the air sign. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and the four of pentacles here. So maybe this person did it because they're dissatisfied in the relationship. But I'm not really getting that. I'm getting more if somebody's pulled their energy back and they turn cold. Maybe because they had word of this. This madness, okay? I usually don't even clarify the beginning cards like that, but something made me go deep. So after all that, they're telling me to stop. That, that's been clarified. After all that, somebody was left with the Five of Cups. This is an energy of dwelling on the past, still in this energy. It's not like the Six of Swords where they're in the boat and she's sad, but she's moving away emotionally to calmer emotions and healing. This person is still stuck like this shit just happened, okay? This could have happened this week, last week, next week. Or you could have did this to somebody, cross-watcher, or your significant other. But this disappointment hurt the fuck out of somebody with the Ten of Swords. I don't know if it was messages coming in. Somebody coming in about some sneaky shit. I'm trying to tell you. Could have been with a cancer or an air sign. Ooh, because there's a lot of people here. Air. Uh, I don't want to say Earth. I take it back. Only Earth I see is Taurus, Taurus and Aries. All water signs, all air signs, all fire signs. Okay. So, uh, here's the emperor with the Taurus or Aries. So, I feel like this emperor could have caused this. My older man card, my baby daddy card, my egotistical power dominating man card, okay? And... He could have left you in a disappointed, fucked up energy. Because I feel like you guys are doing good for the last few weeks. But something could have came out. And a quick message could have came out. And I don't have the tower. But I do have the three of swords and the deceptive energy. So somebody fucked up somewhere. The tower ain't came out yet. But I don't think it's far behind. Okay, Virgo card came out. It could definitely have something to do with a Virgo. It could be an Aries or a Taurus or Virgo in their chart. But this caused somebody to go within. Okay. Go within for what? So maybe someone hurt an emperor. Could also be the Scorpio card. So the emperor or this is so you were hurt and you for some of you guys, you guys went to an emperor, Taurus or Virgo or something like that or Aries. Mm -mm, they're telling me no. So that message ain't it. This emperor could have Virgo in their chart. And I feel like even though this is over, this person still sees this as being fixable, like the wheel can still change, but it is dead right now. Somebody could have cut you off or you cut them the fuck off because this shit was too much. You felt betrayed. You felt like this shit was OV, like you were disappointed. It's coming in as a more of a disappointment than anything. Like I said, I don't have the tower card. So it wasn't like, oh, MG. It was like a disappointment. Especially if you're the ones that were on a good roll for these last few weeks. And then this is just like, they fucked up. That's what I'm hearing. Ugh. Holy Spirit and Archangels, why is this kid in the cups here? See, it could be between a water sign and an air sign. 
Or you can have these in your chart. But it's like somebody's hands are tied. The other person could be emotionally like, oh man, you know, open to this. And like you at this point are like cold as ice. I wish the fuck I would. Okay? Which is leaving the situation shit in this energy. Not moving. Feeling tied down. Not getting any clarity. Not willing to... Somebody could be blocked. There we go. I don't know why they just... Came. Somebody could be blocked as hell. You could have blocked this person. Because they did the most. Ooh, sorry guys. Holy Spirit and Archangels. Clarify. You ate a source for me. Yep. Uh, block this uh, long-term connection. That's going to be messing with this person for a long time. Or you are blocking out a connection that was long-standing. Like I said, this person could be completely blocked. They are trying to get to you emotionally. You are not trying to hear it. You're off in the trees with your sword. Ready to swap anybody that comes through with any type of bullshit. You're not trying to hear it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this person is trying to manifest working on this with you. They know they fucked up. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm-mm. Why they want to work on it? Why they want to work on it? Mm, two cards. These cards are coming out two at a time. They might have a lot to say. Okay, Knight of Rods. Because. <laughs> they want to work on it because they see that they, this was like the last straw and Leo's walking away. They ain't even walking away. Leo's flying the fuck out of there. The Knight of Rods is in and out energy. Like, out of there so fast you didn't even know they were there. Okay? Like, hell to the no-no. Let's clarify this matter, guys. Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, flying out of there. But you're still grounded. You're not just like Knight of Rods could be haphazard. Knight of Rods, did I say it? Yeah, Knight of Rods could be haphazardly going fast. Not even planning shit out, just going full of energy, going real fast. But I feel like, yeah, you're going real fast, but you're doing it in a stable way. Like, you're not just sporadically doing shit. Like, I'm angry, I'm out of here, breaking shit, leaving, uh, not, you know, making, don't even know where the fuck you're going, just so angry that you're getting out of the, no, you planned before you left. You planned or in your mind, you like, okay, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this. You got your, I feel like they're saying you got your ducks in a row. Mm-hmm. Completion. Closing up of a cycle. That's how you feeling. That's how you feeling. Yep. And what is the outcome of this situation for the week? I've been doing this new thing. Chariot, somebody could be trying to move forward with you really fast. Or like I said, a cancer that you guys are messing with. Trying to defend themselves. Or... Yeah, trying to defend themselves in a stable relationship. You guys could live with each other. Mm-hmm. Competing to get back good with you, you know? Sorry, Leo. Competing to get back good with you. Or maybe if you are so hurt that you are entertaining options, could even be entertaining an emperor, someone with emperor energy, boss energy, stoic energy, or whatever the case is, or a Taurus or a uh, Aries. You could be entertaining them now. And now this person is like, oh, they got to rush in real quick to compete for your love before they lose this stable house. You know what I mean? It's like <laughs> they gave me a vision of someone. You know how you're playing a game or you're watching a movie and they always have that cheesy part where the person just slides under the door at the last minute like their hand damn near is crushed but they just the nick of time. I feel like this is the energy. Like this person's like just the nick of time. Like shit, I fucked up. I got to get come in quick. I cannot bullshit because I fucked up so bad that Leo might be the fuck out of here or the energy might be reversed. Maybe the reading before was messed up because this was a specific reading for everyone or for everyone for someone okay because the other one got trash and it was for a reason but yeah this is like a distinct message so let me know who this resonates with guys okay i'm gonna do romance angel oracle cards mm -mm. but i just feel like oh, this ash over here i feel like this person is like the nick of time i might name that the video in the nick of time this reading is for someone might not resonate for everyone, but it's for somebody. 
and it was meant for them to get it. Huh, I just happened to cut at the reconciliation card and pay attention to the red flags. Funny. Okay, Holy Spirit, Archangels. What messages do we have for Leah? Okay. You know who got these cards? Oh God, was it Virgo? So definitely could be, I usually get this for you guys, a soulmate, twin flame type dynamic, okay? For some of you, it really is religious factors keeping you guys apart. We never want to digress off the original message. Uh, some of you are trying to keep an open mind about this. Because you definitely can feel like this is your soulmate. Some of the, for you, some others from the previous week, this person could have engaged to you. This is the message that I'm getting. I usually don't do this during this time of the reading. But some of you guys could have got engaged. And this person like fucked up. But it was like maybe one last lesson that needed to be learned before you actually called in the soulmate energy of this person, you know. So now it's like either make or break. But you keep it up in mind because you I feel like you have romantic feeling. You love the shit out of this person. And you do feel a strong there's a strong connection between you guys. And the relationship has been feeling like it's been leveling up. Like I said, I've been noticing in your readings. And it's just like this person just fucked up, it feels like, okay? I'm gonna I usually don't do this, but I'm gonna pull what are their intentions towards you. Holy Spirit and Art Angels, what are their intentions towards Leo? I just feel like some of you guys need that clarity. What are their intentions towards Leo? Hmm. They love the shit out of you, Leo. They want to close that shit up. They want to close. I feel like they want to close up this bullshit ass cycle. You guys might have been feeling like you were coming out of. Somebody had a relapse, you know, but it was like that one last go. You know what I mean? And it's like this person loves the shit out of you. Whatever they did. It wasn't worth what the fuck you guys had. They should have thought about it before that happened. But I'm just letting you know, they are genuine. They want to close up that cycle of BS. And they do want to offer real substantial love. This person could even be crying to you guys. I feel a heavy energy with this, okay? So let me know if this resonates in the um, comments. I, I get what I get. And that was really a weird energy. So I feel like that message is for some specific group of Leos. Because I thought it was going oh so well. But, hey, if I'm right, guys, let me know. And if you need any clarity, please reach out to me at venusianscorpintuition at gmail.com. You guys know I love you, my Lilies. Have a good week.